guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where today I am in shock. I kid you not, this is probably one of the best Quattro Porte specs I've ever seen. I mean, one of the best Maserati specs in general I've ever seen. And I'm here at Maserati Alpha Omega Daytona Beach. When I saw this, first, this thing first come in, I was like, there's no way. There's stuff on here I haven't seen before um, from any Maserati model, um, especially one leather color that you guys, I don't think I've had on the channel ever before, let alone see myself. So I have to show this off guys because I am, I'm, I'm blown away. Um, you guys already kind of see it behind me. You need to check out this car. This is nearly $130,000 for this Quattro Porte Modena and it's worth every penny guys. Check this out because this car reminds me of why I love what Maserati stands for, what you can do with the brand um, as far as customization, um, materials, and everything there. There's just not too many car makers doing it like Maserati is, and this spec is proof of that. A quick shout out to Eric Hurd here at Maserati Alfa Romeo of Daytona Beach, who's always hooking me up with some of the latest and greatest Maserati and Alfa Romeos they have here. So make sure you guys give them a call if you're trying to get into something as beautiful as this Maserati Quattro Porte in front of us. Whoa. Whoa, guys. Whoa. The Monona spec, all right? The entry level middle child between the GT and Trofeo spec for this lineup for the 2022 Quattro Porte. But we have here in front of us a Blue Nobele Tri Coat paint, all right? We know all about that because this paint has been around for a couple of years now, but it is something like no other. And we'll get up close to it just so you can see it in a minute because this paint is definitely one of the top tier Maserati paints that they offer. Now with that said, this spec already is pretty nice with this paint, but then the interior, um, as you guys can see from the window, is Sabia. Um, it has different colored trims, um, you know, certain kind of colors that I wanna show off to you guys that I have not seen before, let alone together, all right? Then we have the 20 inch uh, silver Paseo wheels, all right, the blue calipers. I mean, look at this thing, guys. This looks incredible. Now, with that said, I just really want to take a step back so you guys can see this paint. And then I'm gonna get up close to it because, wow, the black Trident new for 2022 with the blue Nobelia, look at that. <laughs> I am shook. Look at that. This paint sparkles so much. This doesn't, this seems like the next level of a tri -coat. This seems like if Goku went Super Saiyan, um, you know, three, and then he leveled up to Super Saiyan four, that would be this paint here, all right? My Dragon Ball Z anime nerds, chime in on this one. This is an incredible looking paint. Let's get up closer again so you guys can just see it. Look at the shine, look at the sparkle. It looks so good. Now we do have the new emblem for 2022 as well. Right up there, the Maserati insignia that's done in blue and white that goes very well with this spec compared to it being in chrome red and blue. We have our big trident up front because we have our level two, two ADAS, all the technology in there. We have our newer grill that came out in 2021. All right, but this one's all blacked out with the matte inserts. All right, we also have the Grand Sport like front fascia that comes with the Modena spec. All right, so it's a sportier front fascia with the black side blades, all right, the mesh grill all throughout and the black front lip. All right, then we have the full matrix LED headlamps that look so good that we'll have illuminated in just a moment here, but I'll step back so you guys can appreciate the front fascia and look how good that looks. I am floored. Now, it's not just the exterior paint, obviously, because the interior goes a lot with it, but let's continue to appreciate the outside with this 20 inch per sale wheels again with the blue calipers that go very nicely with the white script maserati script i don't know how well you can see it there but it's there all right and then the monochrome um, center cap there drilled rotors brimbo brakes all around all right that looks really good right we'll take a step back to see it all together as well and then we'll go up to those beautiful portholes with the mud spec badge all right, so you can see that on the side, on the front fenders. The portholes are classic for the Quattro Porte, very 3D, very voluptuous, and it also is ventilated, not ventilated, sorry, functional, so you do get your honeycomb grill, all right, for cooling there, all right? So you see the Modena badge there, done in black, looks really good, right? 
Now coming down the side, you'll see the chrome moldings, you'll see the chrome door handles, keeping up with the whole luxury flavor of this car. And we do have the sunroof popped up there, not a panoramic roof, Maserati hasn't moved to that yet, but the sunroof right up top. All right, so with that said, we'll take a step back and look at the spec from the side. Yeah, you can tell, like from the back, it looks like just a very dark navy blue, but then as you get to the sun area where the sun is shining, it's a completely different look. And I love the transition between the light colors on this car. Now, when we go to the rear, we're gonna get our classic boomerang tails that we've seen, all right, since last year for 2021. And then you have the new Maserati script with the chrome bar going across. You have the Q4 badge letting you know it's an all wheel drive model. Then you have the Grand Sport rear diffuser and rear bumper. All right, so that's the honeycomb grill there. That's the rear diffuser. All right, that's done in gloss black and you have the little shark fins there, make it more aggressive with the chrome exhaust tips. All right, we will hear what she sounds like in just a bit. But with that said, take a step back and let's appreciate the back of this Quattro Porte Monona spec. Yeah. So obviously we know what makes her tick, right? But we gotta talk about it because, you know, it's good to kind of refresh our memories. All right, twin turbo, three liter V6, Ferrari derived engine, 424 horsepower, 428 pound feet of torque with a top speed of 179 miles per hour for this all wheel drive and a zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds. All right, so we're used to the powertrain um, is one that we will probably not see on the 2024 Quattro Porte because we heard it's supposed to get revamped, but we know that Maserati is making their own engines now. So it's the last we're gonna see of this engine. Last we're gonna hear of it. So let's give her a little rip. expensive so i gotta let you know the fuel economy on a twin turbo v6 right 19 combined city and highway 16 city and 24 on the highway obviously that's going to vary depending on your driving habits but that's pretty much what we're looking at going in from the back same flavor and love you get sabia carpeting in the back wow all right they're really taking this to the next level so be careful where you're putting in this trunk because you definitely don't want to mess that up but good thing you do have the Maserati trunk mat here, all right? The big trident, the trunk mat to protect this Savia um, carpeting, which, wow, I, I don't think I've seen this before either. Or maybe I haven't noticed it, but wow. All right, your carpet's there for in the inside because you don't want to get those dirty. And then your 12 volt with your um, cargo net there. If I lift this up, which we'll do that, you'll be able to see, all right, you do have your spare tire back there. You have your tire inflate kit, your um, tire jack there. Not car tire jack, but car jack. Your battery back here as well all right all that good stuff so i mean yeah you got some good stuff back here i believe um on the sticker as well um the accessories package is included just not everything is back here at the moment but we will break that down in just a second but yeah that is a very clean um looking interior sheesh again guys i'm just gonna swoop across the side of this car because yeah i i don't even know if the camera is doing this justice but I hope it is because this, this is so beautiful. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, it helps grow the channel and I get more opportunities to get more beautiful Maseratis like this Quattro Porte Madonna right behind me. Now, before we step in, let's take, let's take a, a collective gasp at this interior. Let me straighten the wheel first and then let's take a collective gasp at this interior. So, if you guys don't know what you're looking at, this is one of the most exquisite Maserati interiors I've seen. Sabia leather all throughout, that's that cream color you see. Open pore radical wood trim, all right? That's the wood trim you see in the door paneling, on the steering wheel, all throughout the dash and the center console. And then you have Totora, which is the dove gray extension on the upper doors here and on the dash, all right? So this is new for me. I mean, it's dove gray as far as the translation, but this looks more of like a light brown to me. And you guys get up on it, you guys can kind of see it. 
but Tortora is what it's called. And this is the first time I've ever seen it in a Maserati before. So um, this is a first for me, so I had to show this off to you guys right away. I mean, because on top of that, you still have nice materials um, like chrome and aluminum all throughout this car. So it's insane. The seats, full naturally drilled leather, all right, all in Sabia. So yeah, it's super creamy in here, all right. You also have the Sabia Alcantara, all right, on the pillars and all throughout the headliner. Again, this spec is something else, all right. So we go down to the bottom here. We have our aluminum side sill, the aluminum and gloss black on the seat adjustments, all right. We do have the normal pedals, so no aluminum pedals. We have our Harman Kardon sound system here, all right. We have that Sabia leather all throughout with Sabia stitching, the chrome trim along the door handle here, all right, the aluminum around the seat memory. Then you have your open pore radical wood trim right here in the door, if you guys can see that quite well. All right, and then the Dove Gray, all right. So again, that's something new that we have not seen yet. And paired with this spec, this is something that's just blowing my mind because, wow, just, again, a collective gasp at this interior. And I'm gonna be very careful when I step inside of here because I don't wanna get anything dirty. I mean, even your carpet, is done in sabia so i'm gonna use that very very gently all right so a sabia steering wheel this is very brave guys very brave you already know i mean putting your hands on this um you know greasy naturally oily hands on this you know it could it could lead in more upkeep than you would like but it does look pretty especially with the aluminum paddle shifters behind it all right chrome on the um, trident in the center and black on the buttons with the chrome down the center so fully leather sabi interior you do have again that open pore wood trim there all right going all the way across all right to the other side and then again you have the dove gray leather dash with the um, actual not contrasting but actual dove gray stitching as well to go with it and then again, chrome all throughout, throughout the TFT screen here, as you can see on the, uh, around the dials, all done in chrome, all right? You guys go across the center here, all right? The air vents, the Maserati signature clock, done in chrome, carries over to the other air vent, done in chrome. You have the Quattro Porte badge there. I mean, wow, 10.1 inch screen with Maserati MIA system, so the Maserati Intelligent Assistant. We know all about this system, guys one of the best systems in the game when it comes to infotainment. Um, obviously, you can think about things like Mercedes and um, Audi and stuff that are kind of a little bit more technical with their features, but this one just works so fluidly. It looks so good, and I'm glad that Maserati upgraded it to it. Now, you can also see that you have your dual zone climate controls here. Underneath this here, you also have wireless charging. All right, you have wireless Apple CarPlay and uh, wireless Android Auto as well. You have your USB-C port and your USB 2.0 in there. You have a Sabia gear select, all right? So your shift knob is done in leather Sabia, all right, with the Sabia stitching. You also have the shop, uh, Sabia shift boot there as well with chrome, all right? This whole thing, wow. And then the wood trim going throughout the center. That open pore looks so good. This is, again, this is super classy. I feel like I don't belong to be in here. <laughs> it's just so awesome. Um, all your driving modes here, and we'll be very quick with just showing you that because we've done a lot of this in all the other Maserati models. Big cup holders here, extra stowage here, all right? And then your armrest, which is also Sabia. Down below, you also have your two cup holders where you can let some um, AC in there, all right? And once you do that, you can keep those espressos cool. Now, going back up here, you can see the Sabia glove box with the chrome, all right, and your two shelf set up there, all right, for the glove box. And then we go to those seats again, all right, ventilated and heated, naturally drilled leather seats. And you guys, if you guys saw my video on the Ghibli with the $5,500 seats, you'll know why these seats are so precious, why they're so unique, and why they're so expensive. And then the Alcantara headliner and pillars all in Sabia with the sunroof up top. This is just insane. Again, the less stuff I touch, the less of a chance I have getting this thing dirty because whew, the owner who gets this, they're gonna have a good detailer, that's for sure. But at the same time, they're gonna have one of the classiest looking Maseratis I've ever seen in my life. 
Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with me in the comments below. Um, excuse me. That's the soft closed door in the rear. It is not a soft closed door in the front. Guys, I learn something new with these cars every day. Did not see that one coming. Soft closed doors in the rear, not in the front. We're not done with this because in the back, same exact flavor to the T. Same dove gray interior with the open port wood, chrome, Sabia, I mean, wow, Harman Kardon speaker, same side still in aluminum. All right, same drill leather seats, perforated seats here. All right, these are heated seats in the rear. You have the embossed head, um, headrest there. And then if you step inside on this very creamy Sabia carpet that I just, I'm gonna try not to step on. I mean, even the whole side still here is done in Sabia, it's insane. Um, you have your stowage here on the back of the seat rest. You do have your heated seating controls here and you also have your vent shade there. So if you guys will revert your attention to back here, if I press uh, one of them, it's gonna put it up. I press the other one, obviously it's gonna put it down. Can't forget about the vent shade here as well. If I wanna hold up, because the glass is already all the way up, I'll just hold up on the window control to put it up and press it to put it down. All right, so you do have vent shades on the rear windows on both sides as well. And if you avert your attention to the armrest, you will have right here your cup holders, very fancy pullout. Hopefully that does not mess up on me. And then in the center here, you do have charging as well, all right? So just a little storage and charging and cup holders right there in the center armrest. Uh, and I promise you guys could see those full matrix LED headlamps. So here we are. Fully illuminated. We'll go to the what would be the darker side of the headlamp so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so you can see the switchback LED turn signal with the amber lighting. You can see right there that full matrix LED light as well. Looks all good together. And then we can go to the side where we see the amber light right there on the side view mirror. And then we come to the back and we will see the boomerang tails with the fog light illuminated right back there. All right, on the sedans, the fog lights are in the tail lights. So you can see the boomerang light with the turn signal there. And there she is. Hey right, guys, so let's take a look at the sticker and price of the 2022 Maserati Quattro Porte Moderna Q4. All right, so we're looking at a starting price of $112,700. After the additional options, we're looking at a total of $128,611. That's after the $1,695 of destination and preparation and delivery, $300. So what are those options? Well, you have your all-season tires, $60. That's a very small option there. Your comfort and convenience package, $1,500. Open pour radical wood trim, $1,400. You also have your gloss blue brake calipers at $500. Ventilated front seats at $500 and your heated Sabia, uh, heated Sabia leather wood steering wheel, $500. Then the big one comes, all right? The full natural drilled leather, $3,500. The tri-coat blue Nobele paint, $2,950. And the 20 inch per sale silver wheels, $2,200. I'm gonna get closer to the accessories package here because we didn't see everything in the back, but what you get is your indoor car cover, all right, you also get your first aid roadside kit, your battery conditioner and charger, your QP luggage compartment mat, which we saw, and your QP compartment um, net, and an umbrella. So a couple things back, where you, back there we didn't see, but I want to show it to you guys. I bet you guys $100 that comfort and convenience package, well, that includes rear soft closed doors, but I guess not front soft closed doors for this Quattro Porte. So that's probably why we won't see it on the standard equipment here, but pause it, zoom, do whatever you guys need to do to make sure you see all the standard equipment that comes with this car so you know what to option out for yours just in case you need to and see what you get standard just so you know exactly what you have. You could be cool with a standard Quattro Porte Manana for 2022. So make sure you guys zoom in, pause, whatever you need to do to see this. All right, guys, so what did you think about this? Wow, <laughs> I'm blown away. $130,000 basically, um, it's, it's definitely one that it is not necessarily for me as far as a daily driver I would get, but I respect this spec. 
100%. I'm in love with it. Um, it is an awesome spec. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. What's your favorite thing about this spec if you like it as much as I do? Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. When you give the video a like, it helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on this 2022 Quattro Porte Modena, one of the best Maserati specs I've ever seen. And with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. Hey, I appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much. Now, you guys can also check out the Ryan's Rise merch, just in case you guys want some long sleeve shirts, you want stickers, you want glasses, coffee mugs, tote bags, everything Ryan's Rise is there. And don't forget to catch me on social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, see everything I'm I'm posting Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo it doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. We will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.